For the following exercises, use each set of functions to find f of g of h of x. Whew. And then we got to simplify our answers. Okay, so now we're doing composite functions, but in this case we have three total functions. We have an f function, a g function, and an h function, okay? I know that we're working with composite functions here because of this type of notation. With composite functions, you'll always be seeing the function letter, then parentheses, and more parentheses. So just get used to that notation. Uh, composite functions look really scary, but they're not. Look down here on the tips and tricks. With composite functions, you will always work from the inner function to the outer function. And what I mean by inner and outer is basically parentheses, okay? So you always work from the innermost function that's inside the parentheses, and then you branch outwards. Okay, so start in, move out. Okay. Um, composite functions are just a you know, fancy way of saying that we're taking, in this case, three independent functions and we're meshing them all together to get one output. Okay, so I'm going to work on the left hand one for now. And I'm going to follow these steps down here on the tips and tricks. So I'm going to just title this, you know, f of g of h of x. And uh, yeah, I think I got all the parentheses there. There's three. One, two, three. Yeah, so I need one more. Okay. So first, let's identify who is the most innermost function. Is it the f function, the g, or the h? It's the one that's in the parentheses. It's the h function. So this is the inner function. Which one comes next? You work from inner to outer. The next one is the g function. I'll call this one the middle function. And then which one is the outer function? The f function, right? So always start from the inner and work your way to the outside. So for this, you're going to be plugging in an input, it's usually a number, uh, for the inner function and solving. So I'm going to put a 1 here. And we need to work with the inner function. The inner function was h of x. Now, I said usually a number down here, which means that this should have been like h of 2 or h of 3. But in this case, they just leave it as h of x. So I can't really do anything, but h of x is the square root of x. Okay, I can't simplify this. I can't do anything algebraically. So this is the answer to the first part. So now I move on. I'm going to use the new input that I just solved for, the square root of x, and I'm going to plug it into the outer function. In this case, it's going to be the next outer function, which is the middle one, right? From h, I got to go to g, then I got to go to f. So I'm going to say number two, the g function. But now I'm going to plug in what I solved for in the beginning, which was the square root of x. So now I go to the g function. This means that any time that there's an x, I'm just going to plug in the square root of x. So the g of x squared would be square, oh sorry, not x squared, the square root of x. So it was x minus 6, so I'm going to plug in the square root of x minus 6. Can I simplify this? No. So. That's the answer for the second part, and we're done with the middle guy. Now we got to move outward again. The next one is the f function. So now in this case, there's a part three. We're now doing the f function, and it's the answer of what you got from before. So it's square root x minus six, which means that if I go to my x function, the f function, I'm going to plug in for any time that I see x, I'm going to plug in x, the square root of x, minus, yeah, minus, minus 6. So I got two x's here, one over here, one over here. I plug them in. So the f function was x to the fourth plus 6. So I'm going to say the square root of x minus 6 to the fourth and then plus 6. And yeah, there you go. 
Now you can simplify this. This means that you would have to do the square root of x minus six, multiply that a total of four times. But for the simplicity of this video, I'm gonna go to the next one because I know you guys can do this. If you want though, simplify this out and then obviously plus six at the end. Let me know what it is in the comments and I'll let you know if you're correct or incorrect, all right guys? So let's keep it like this just so that we can move on to the next one. But just know that just do your algebra, work through it. You just have to multiply that parentheses a total of four times, okay? And then at the end, you just have to add six to it. So whatever that answer is, that's the simplified version, all right? But this whole thing is the same thing as f of g of h of x, all right? So you got it. Just let me know what it is in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as you comment, all right? Okay, let's move on to the next one. So same thing, f of g of h of x, inner to outer, same exact thing. We're doing the innermost h function first, then comes the g, and then comes the, a, uh, the f function. So for number one, h of x is, okay, well, here it was, it's just x plus three. Can't simplify that, so I'm just going to box this off. And now I'm going to plug this in into the second part of g of x. And well, now it's not x anymore, it's going to be this. So g of x plus three, which means that when I go to my g function, anytime that I see x, I'm just plugging it in for x plus three. So this would be one over x plus three because it was an x. Can't simplify that. So that's the answer to the second part. And now I will use this to plug in for the outermost function, which is the f function. So this is um, number three, I'll say. This is f of input this one over x plus three. So the f function was just x squared plus one. So it would be this whole thing, one over x plus three times, or squared, plus one. Now this one is a little bit less time consuming than the other one, so I will simplify this one for you, this one, right? So this is the same thing as saying one over x plus three times one over x plus three. I could simplify all of this by saying it's just one over x plus three times one plus x plus three. So this is your distributing. This is your foiling and when you have to take the first variable and multiply it by the first and the second one and then you do the same thing for um, the other number. So if I had to simplify this, it would be one over, and I'll actually put this in big things over here. X times X is X squared. X times three is three X. Three times X is another three X. And then three times three is nine. So this whole thing simplified would be one over X squared plus six X plus nine. And now all you gotta do is just add one. So if I pull this over, you would just say plus one. So technically this whole thing would be your um, function, right? I'll just leave it like that. So I'm gonna say that this is the same thing as f of one over x plus three, which is the same thing as f of g of h of x which equals, and I'll pull this down here. That's it, there you go. All right, that was fun. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, so thanks for hanging with me, all right? Hopefully this lesson helps you. You got this, you got math, all right? You, you guys got this, just use your algebra. And the hardest part is just plugging everything in correctly. And then you just do your adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, and square roots and all that stuff. But you got this, all right? 
So I'm going to leave it here for you guys. If you want, remember, you can tell me what this simplified is and I will get back to you as soon as you tell me. All right. But thanks, guys. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, please. And thank you. Um, have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye bye.